Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Esteemed Gentleman Podcast for Thursday, December 1st. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside me, the man in the field, Uncle T-Bag, Tyler Sund. <laughs> Hello there, from the field. <laughs> from the field. And uh, all day, Eric DeShane. Hey, hello. How you boys doing today? Very good. Great. It's been, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a yeah. while since we recorded. Yeah, well, shit yes. lives always with your hard drive, so couldn't do much without that. So last week was last week we we had one. Yes, we had a, we, yes we had one Monday in person. Yeah. yeah, in person. Yeah, yeah. Was yes, that, was that Monday or Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, one of those days last week. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, finally got my uh, computer back up and running. So what was the uh, the prognosis with that? What happened? Uh, just the dead solid state drive. My main. Uh, your main, main boot, main main boot drive. Mm. Huh. Gone and uh, took a hike. Went on what vacation. brand was? What brand was that? Like a Sony one? Uh, Samsung? Or? No, it's uh, it was like cheapo. Uh, was crucial. Okay. Not, not like super super. Oh cheap, yeah, like, I think I have that kind too. They're more of a discounted brand, but mm-hmm. that's my fear too as well. Because all I could afford when I made my computer was like uh, what's that brand with the humming, hummingbird on it? It's like rainbow colored. It's like, it was like half the price of everything else because that was all that was available. Oh, because like, hummingbird, it, it has a hummingbird. I remember it's a, a bright red, green, and yellow hummingbird on the thing. I'm like, oh, whatever. And it was cheap, and it was all the I could get because everything was in the middle of the Bitcoin craze. So hmm. I'm like, well, this thing doesn't fucking crash now because, yeah, day o' pick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Blame it on the Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will. Absolutely. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they make computer stuff. Uh, no, I don't think it's not King- Kingston. Yeah, but yeah, anywho, yeah. It's... Kingston's a pretty good one. That, but they have like a, a head as their mm-hmm. logo. Yeah. Like, anywho. Anywho. Mm-hmm. We're anyway. Here. We're here Anything talking else? about. Yeah. Do we want to talk about any other reason why we're, we're, we're missing? We would have been back yesterday, but Tyler's. Mm-hmm. Tyler's up north. Or, yeah, Tyler's sorry. Tyler. Tyler's mm-hmm. gone. Yeah. He's in Kelowna. Mm-hmm. No. No. Kamloops. Kamloops. Whatever. He's in he's in, in the m- same vicinity. So he's in a On the other side of the mountain range. <laughs> he's in a different time zone. Mm-hmm. I am. Yeah. He said he's gonna be ready at eight thirty. And I was like, Your time? And he's like, Oh yeah. And it's eight forty five our time. <laughs> right. <laughs> So we're now at 7.45 over there? Yeah, we wrapped her up, so. Yeah. It's not bad, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's still weird, though. I'm all fucked up with my right. <laughs> sleep schedule and stuff. Because mm-hmm. we left, I think yesterday we left, yeah, it was at, uh, we left the shop at 5 o'clock in the morning. Alberta time. Mm-hmm. So, what time did I leave the house at? Yeah, I left the house at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh my god. Oh. And then uh, it took us about 12 hours to get there because there was a huge construction zone from Jasper all the way to here just about and it was all that new pipeline. I can't remember the name of it, but it's the big pipeline that they're building the, the whole way up. Yeah, I don't think so. It's something else. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. But man, it's wild. And there were like semi-trucks in the ditch and icy roads and mm-hmm. just brutal. So it was a long journey. So, got back to the hotel, and then I got a migraine suddenly. I don't know if it's the altitude change, the mix of, like, not eating much, and the long trip, and all that garbage. And then I watched Ambulance, <laughs> and it just and it cured made you. me. <laughs> it, it, it's, it, yeah, because we were in a, in a state last night, in our group chat after we all watched it, because, my God. Yeah. It, like, lobotomized me, and I was like, ah, I'm confused. <laughs> I have things to say about this. I had Shit. so much to say, even while I was watching it. I even fell asleep for about four or five minutes. <laughs> How? So I don't know. There's so I many just got so confused that I passed out. <laughs> had an Trying to process what the fuck, what the fuck was going on, uh, yeah. and where the thought process was for some of the scenes, but. Anyway, and then just checking to see if my nose is bleeding just from the freaking aneurysm. My brain bleeding? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
all the drone shots flipping oh. around and like going down buildings and shit make you sick. Mm-hmm. The they mindless are. ones. It's just the same shit over and over again. And then just random buildings. Yeah. Has nothing to do with like, is this an establishing <laughs> shot? What is this? It's just yeah. a weird fucking twisty 360 no scope yeah. drone shot here. They're just filming. It's like, oh, that's some cool graffiti. <laughs> Let's record that. Yeah. He's yeah. from LA. Of course. That one, it's now, in LA. It all, now it all makes sense. Yeah. He's from LA. This, it's this, an LA this, movie. We got to oh, capture yeah. its beauty. This graffiti's nice. Uh, the city is its own character in the movie. <laughs> it is. That's why when it fades out from ambulance, it says LA. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's LA. Subtle, subtle stuff. Uh, this movie. Anyway, yeah. So we watched a movie last night. So we watched the movie. <laughs> yeah, this is a movie, movie that fun. I did not want to watch. I knew I would hate it. And surprise, surprise. I had a feeling that it would be cheesy, but I didn't think it would be like bad. Bad. Yeah. Well, I thought it'd just la- be cheesy. Last night too, as well. I'm like, hey, well, just watch it. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Look it up. Well, actually, it's rated the same right now as The Rock, Michael Bay's old movie with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Which was a great movie. A gr- I love that movie. A great Had a movie. great story. A great thing with it. They're both at 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, well, maybe this has potential. Maybe I'll, I'll give it a yeah. shot. And, yeah, and Scott's meme said, like, man's expectations were low, but goddamn. Yeah, <laughs> but holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I've watched a movie with such bad writing. And yeah. it's a Michael no. Bay movie. You shouldn't expect... Phenomenal no. writing. You shouldn't expect Academy Award, but still a coherent, you know, act structure wouldn't fucking kill you, man. Like, oh yeah. God. See, it reminded me of uh, I've watched all the Transformers because mm-hmm. I just like robots fighting, and I want to see some cool military scenes. Because Michael Bay, like, I'm not mm. gonna deny it, he fucking knows how to shoot a movie, and it's fucking like right to the wire. Oh, yeah. It's action packed. There's it's some all really good real. shots in this movie, mm. too. Like, oh, absolutely. fucking, it was a beautiful movie. Like, it was a beautiful movie to watch. Mm. Except for the drone stuff was getting a little bit yeah. carried away. But, I mean, but mm. the visuals were fucking incredible. The frames were, were perfect, but it's just... But I remember, like, when I watched um, Transformers Extinction, the one with Anthony Hopkins in it. Mm. And I was like, there's literally, like, there's no coherent story. It's an hour and a half, almost two hours longer than it should be. And there's no real, like, coherent, intelligible, story-driven dialogue at all. It's literally, they're just saying something stupid every 15 minutes mm. to remind you, like, hey, I'm still a person in this movie, and yeah, I'm being silly, and I'm going to try and make you laugh, and it is, give you a break action, from the nonstop action. I don't action know. Action scene, a nonsensical exposition, and an action scene sandwich. His movies, that's all they are. It's just like... That's awesome. I'm lost. That's awesome. I don't know what's happening. It's yeah, Wait, who's it's, this guy now? How yeah, is he relevant? What's, what's, okay, how is this, what's going on now? Okay, he's <laughs> important, but he's a dog now? Okay, that's cool. That's a, that's a fucking big dog. Cool. No, okay, now he's, he's in charge of these guys. Okay, well, who are those guys? That, is, is this, there's more answer, questions than answers in this fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of questions in this one, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, oh, like, so they're, they're there watching the bank while they're robbing it. Well, then they know it was getting robbed, or were they just there on patrol? Okay, well, so said, then they said they're okay. So there was the the guys that were sitting outside were S I S S I S. I don't know what that stands for, but mm. we they were, were, we they were, were tracking. What it stood for. They were tracking the other guys, the guys like he hired to help him because I guess they're from Brooklyn, which is why that one guy was a real New Yorker heavy accent, right? And then they they mentioned that like they don't go into into it on. You know, like during the robbery, because it just puts more innocent lives at stake in the in the bank. So like they just spring a trap as they're leaving, kind of thing. But so let's endanger more lives outside the bank where there's more people. Supposedly, yeah. <laughs> Instead of keeping it contained inside of a bank, but yeah, uh, but no, because then you don't have an action scene. Or but then, a, a like also, scene. like I guess, like if if they like spring in, like like then it becomes a hostage situation at mm-hmm. that point. So I guess like, we didn't get like, that at all in this movie. <laughs> well, yeah, but anyway. yeah, that's beside the point, though. But I mean, yeah, no, exactly. Like, oh uh, yeah, it's just. <sighs> so the premise of the story I thought was interesting, not too bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, this guy's hard up for cash. His wife needs a surgery, and he has no money. He's trying to cl- get insurance money and get claims for the medical thing, but they're fucking him over. Mm-hmm. 
And he has a brother. That's the, that's the plot of uh, what's that? Every movie that, now. What's that Jason Statham movie with uh, Guy Ritchie or whatever? That uh, oh, we're oh yeah, um, I know which one. The um, fucking Wrath of Man or yeah, what's it called? The, something like that. Something yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, he's taking his kid up for like, a... the same thing. The same like the, mm-hmm. the people who are Robin are like former yeah. military who are like. Uh-huh. This country forgot about us. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah which I, I found like very right ironic that the most like pro military uh, action movie director kind of skimmed over the fact that you know these are former veterans from the army who got fucked yeah. over. And you're kind of ignoring that part of it. It's like, yeah, they're the pack. Like, they're, they're so robbers, but they're part yeah. of the system that's still kind of broken. There, you don't see that there, Michael. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah. think Michael Bay was an actual producer on this one, though. I don't think he was. I didn't say his I name. I thought he producer. was. I thought was he, he was. I thought, yeah. Was he in the movie? He usually is. Because he, he has a cameo. He, he was the guy that, like, he checked the the the, the gate or something, right? Like, mm-hmm. there was some oh, fucking be... cop that had, like, long blonde hair, and I was, like, real skinny-looking dude. I'm like, that looks like mm-hmm. Michael Bay. Yeah, I missed mm-hmm. it. They and, made the rock reference in there, though, a yeah, couple of and, times. And they Bad made... Boys, too, because yeah. you got to jerk yourself off while you're making a movie. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so the premise was all right. He started for cash, and he has a brother who was mm-hmm. doing some shady shit. And his wife's like, "Oh, you're not talking to your brother again." No, no, no. He lied to her. And of course, goes to meet up with him, and almost immediately, they're already off to go rob a bank. Suddenly, there was no preparation. Yeah. There was no fucking plan. There was no, like, like and what? Oh, I, I need you on this. I can't do it without you. But it's like you were about you were to leave. About you were to about leave. to leave. In you were like walking two out minutes. the door. Going you were walking to do up the this, door. and you just so like, okay, well, I need your help. I need now your you help can't now. do it without him. Like you were done. Like ninety eight percent of the stuff was done. You just showed up. Like fucking hell. Like, yeah. I mean, and Jake it, Gyllenhaal was pretty convincing. I probably would have gotten the mm-hmm. truck with him too. Been like, mm-hmm. all right, let's do it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> no, and that too. The whole premise of him being this masterful, like master bank robber, a guy who was robbed in the movie thirty seven banks, now thirty eight. A guy yeah, robbed and he has banks, all and of these vint or like these sports cars and vintage cars yeah. lined up like he's just an expert fucking yeah. con man. And then you see the crew he rolled with for this thirty eighth job. It's like this was fucking doomed to fail. I know that's the whole point of the plot was to get him to have him yeah. go in the ambulance, but like, like nothing about this convinced me that like, yeah, like this was a good crew to have. Like the the one guy fucking got <laughs> with loafers shows up to a bank robber with sandals. Like, Who the fuck like, you? What the job f- you doing? Probably the best part of the whole movie is the guy with the sandals, honestly. <laughs> What'd you do to my legs? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the fuck? Fucking idiots, man. Can we like, that? Fucking idiot driving the van. Holy oh, yeah. fuck. They. Why'd they skip the heist? <laughs> yeah, no. That would have been the coolest part to see. Yeah, they're, they're there yeah, I don't, then, I don't get that either. Like yeah. they skipped an integral part. Like they could have mm. filmed like the they, whole they robbery scene. Got, they got into the elevator. The next part is like the t- cops talking outside. It's like, all right, well, let's go to the bank. And like, oh, it's closed. So I thought, I thought legit the bank was just closed or something like that. It's like, oh, well, they picked like a, a day to go when the bank's closed or something. I don't know. And then it's like, oh no, right. there, there's there's people tied up and stuff like that. And oh. Did I skip? Did I press my controller by accident and skip something? No, nope. no, nope. right? Because like Weird. that that premise too is a perfect uh, perfect thing because you can have this masterful plan where yeah we're gonna go in take control of the bank get the money and go but yet you don't take into account of a cop who has a flirt with his teller to come in and ruin your plans that's, that's a good little twist for what should be your bank heist scene right and just say but like no, no. <laughs> we don't no it's just done already they're already in control and just shows up we're like. Yeah. Okay. It's a movie about okay. It's not about the bank robbery. No. It's, it's not about anything. Okay. It's about an ambulance. That's right. That's right. That's what that's this is about. The an lo- longest chase scene of all time, probably, because mm-hmm. it's like. Long. Yeah, I've never watched a movie with a chase scene that long yeah. and nonstop. Yeah. And like never ran out of gas. Nothing. Do, like were just... we the audience? We're supposed to like be invested with them and see where they're going. We had no idea where they were going, what they were doing. We know they're supposed to go to a point. Shit was literally unfolding time, throughout the chase, we, and you had no yeah, idea. We had no idea. The, what the end goal was. Like, there's a scene where he's, uh, at halfway, uh, uh, halfway through the movie, he's finally at that one ravine there, down by, he steps out, and shooting the helicopters and everything else. I'm like, oh, cool, here's where, the, here's where those cartels, because now they're involved, they're going to come in and start 
causing havoc. No, it's for another fucking twenty minutes later. <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. oh shit, it's yeah, still more changes. I don't, I don't understand. Like, oh, yeah, why did they now, who the, the fuck are they now? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Why did they paint the ambulance green? Because he didn't have any blue paint. But apparently, why? he wanted blue paint. <laughs> So that it didn't look like an ambulance is what yeah. I'm thinking, and that's I mean, the I'm, stupidest thing. But they like literally drove <laughs> by a bunch of police cars in like a ambulance. a shitty painted a fucking shitty, ambulance. I, I agree. <laughs> and the lights were flashing the whole time. Did you notice I, that? I was oh, that yeah. was driving me nuts. I'm like, if you're trying to like you know it's, keep a low profile, turn the fucking lights off. Nothing in this movie made any fucking sense. Yep. Also, just tell the cop to fucking wait. <laughs> It'll be real quick. Too bad, man. It's policy. <laughs> Done. Yeah. That's it. Well, that's just it. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's one of the first things. I'm like, okay, this is really dumb. Like, he's obviously kind of stupid. And then the more Jake Gyllenhaal's character talked, the I'm like. <laughs> I like wonder... say this, say this. It'll be funny. Say it. And he's like, I don't want to say that. I want, I want an actual script. Oh, we don't have one. Just say this. Yeah. I have herpes. So yeah. I mean, I guess we're all well, yeah. dealing with oh. the cards that were dealt. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that have to do with literally anything? I don't even know what the fucking conversation was about before he said that. I don't even remember what the fuck it was. Yeah. I don't even what remember. Was it? I don't remember. I don't know. I, that 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 stuck in my head just with how bad it was, not because it was funny, like it was meant to be. Oh, I know it was meant to be funny, but I like I didn't even smile at it. Like it wasn't even, and, and I love stupid like sexual jokes, and I'm just like, that's a dumb thing to say. Like that makes no sense. Of all things to say, like really, like a, yeah. something more clever than that for someone who's a genius bank robber. You right? think you'd be smarter, than, a street smarter than that? But okay. If you make puns about the situation that you're dealing with at that moment, then mm-hmm. okay. But like. Even um, that uh, SWAT team boss guy there, mm-hmm. he's talking, he's eating those fucking Cheetos. And it's like, you get any of that Cheeto dust on oh. my equipment, man. I swear to God. I'm like... What the fuck like, is... What was her name again? I can't remember. It was, was a weird name. It was a weird name. I'm like, oh, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> yeah. I, their, yeah. Their whole dynamic was awful. Like It was really bad. So yeah. awkward and weird. Yeah. Yeah. It was terrible. It was it terrible. Was... There were no characters that I really cared about. Like, the main dude was okay. Like, mm-hmm. he was good. Like, oh, I hope he kind of makes it out. Mm-hmm. It was, I, you know, I, I kind of liked uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Just, like, he pl- he played it good, like, when he's, like, mm-hmm. kind of, as the guy who's, like, kind of, like, losing his mind. Like, he's, mm-hmm. like, just on the, you can on, play on the edge the whole time kind of thing. Yeah, but know. he's a good fucking actor, and he oh, yeah. really <laughs> is the only reason why <laughs> yeah. this movie got a 6 out of 10. Otherwise, it would have been, like, a 3, Probably. Probably. But. The only reason that kept me vested to watch more was like the, the I forget the the Michael no what's the the uh, the the black guy's name the, uh, the well, driver Will name. Will Will uh, yeah was the, was the idea of okay how is he getting out of this because like he is a good guy he is trying just to provide right so and it, uh, he, there's gonna be how like how is he gonna end up okay with this right so that's the only reason why I watched how long as I did because. Nothing else about that was interesting to me at all. Like some of the cool shots, cool, but there's not enough meat here on this carcass to make me invest this time, right? So, yeah. Besides that, even even the ending was like, oh, is he still gonna get all charged? The was so is he bad. still? <laughs> is it, 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 what's gonna happen with him now? Because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's so many more dumb questions at the end. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take you outside and blow your brains out on public television. Okay, you're telling her that right now before you even take her out there. Like, mm-hmm. and then Will, like, shoot some after. Like, what? <laughs> what? Snipers could have done he's it. A, he's an American hero. He was a, a Marine or something. Yeah, he was a Marine. Yeah, he was a soldier he got of some kind. Over yeah. by yeah by the by the military. And then his wife was fucking carrying the baby since the beginning of the movie, and then all of a sudden she's just brought there. Why would she be brought to a standoff? Mm-hmm. As a hostage negotiator, maybe like as a maybe as a, something like to, I don't get that. Maybe, but you would not want to get that family involved. That there was a here. Smart I'm going to let you out of this thing because yeah. we're just about to fucking start blasting these but fucking. There's a chance guys. you might watch your husband die. Yeah, so I might get shot. But while you're carrying and the watch baby, it. yeah, get out holding the baby. Did the police bring her earlier? Like how she? Yeah, now she's yeah. there. 
She was in the back seat of the of a uh, the FBI guy's car. Or, uh, somebody with the FBI. Oh, must have been that the FBI friend there. Uh, no, yeah. or the FBI guy was talking to the ambulance chick. So somebody else. It was some other law enforcement person brought her there. I don't even know why they would bring her there. I don't get that at all. I don't get it. The one part I liked that I thought was actually kind of, kind of intense was mm-hmm. the them doing like the 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 surgery, the trauma surgery in the okay. Bank. Okay. And had the like, spleen hold that whole scene was like wild. Yeah. That was wild. That was pretty good. And then when it when it fucking yeah. burst in, it's like holy fuck. I actually gasped like what the fuck is happening? <laughs> but then the end it ends so bad because it's like put a hair clip and that was it. It's like the wait, that's it? That's all you had to do? Just put a hair clip and then they like bandaged it back up. It's like I'm pretty sure He's still that gonna would die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead at this point. He's yeah. gonna bleed out. And like, yeah. how much blood did did Will have that he gave this guy? Like, Will should have been like, because he was hooked up yeah, to him for like yeah, an he, hour. whole time. He's just like, I'll hook like, you up while you drive. It's just like, I gave him blood before. Like, you get fucking dizzy and nauseous doing that. Like, there's like, no fuck. way you're still coherently driving while giving blood. Like, <laughs> like, it didn't make any fucking sense at all, man. No, there were so many good ideas. Like, if they had somebody. That just put it all together properly, cut off like forty-five minutes of the fat off of this thing, and oh, just yeah. tightened it up. Had a good script, like it's it could have been just a good action heist movie, yeah. like a good old-fashioned heist movie, which I'm totally <laughs> and put for. the heist part in it. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck, man? The Skip big, the whole dynamic of the FBI started, guy. It started off raw, like rough. Like, oh, this, oh, then yeah. like going to the thing and like the little. <laughs> Girls at the like eight, they were at the bank at the 18 minute her. mark. Like, it's like, holy shit, like they're going to the bank now. Like, it's yeah, they're shit's going off right now. Yeah. But, like, like just that opening scene of like, I don't even know how that fucking happens, but this fucking a gate pierced through the back of a car and like through this young girl, and then and like, her. and then like, it's like, all right, just hold my hand, this is gonna be a loud noise, and then like, they're like cutting the back, and she's like, ah, <laughs> like freaking out, like. <laughs> What? <laughs> is she in sense. pain from them cutting the car? Or is yeah. it the loud noise that's causing her pain? I don't know. But hey, she went, yeah. she went and visited her at the end. Uh, For some reason. That was she's actually like, like, like... She's like, don't let go. A little bit touching. Just a little bit. <laughs> no. A little bit. I almost felt something. I uh, Yeah. Through all the bullshit. <laughs> still, she still got away with millions of dollars. Yeah, and if you watch the movie, when she takes the money and puts it into the baby carriage, mm-hmm. and it uh, focuses out on the crowd behind her, there's like a blonde yeah. chick like looking at it and looking yeah. up and looking looking at it and like looking around. Like, oh yeah, it was super was subtle. Like, well, like, this twenty people there. <laughs> yeah, like everybody's standing there watching her with a big brick of fucking millions of dollars. <laughs> I just puts it in the baby stroller a and fucks dollar, off. It was a million dollar brick. I figured it out. I'm like, that's uh, that's the. And as if they let her, the yeah. cops let her go. Like, what if mm-hmm. they? I would have just assumed that she was in on it. Oh yeah. Like how how did they? How did this happen? How did they not kill you? How did they? Whatever. Blah mm-hmm. blah blah. blah. Like oh, would have searched she her. Been yeah. Shit too, because she she they... totally could have been an accomplice. Oh, oh absolutely. She's a hero. Yeah. She's the cop. She's a hero. I guess. Like I guess. Oh. oh, and then even at the end, when the cop is like looking at the pictures, who, who shot you? This man saved my life. I was like, that's not. <laughs> that's not at all how it happened. Not okay. at all. <laughs> the question. The, yeah. That's not, that's the whole theme of the whole fucking movie. Yeah. You know, I have I have a family. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, I have herpes, so I guess I got to deal with the cards that I'm dealt. Like, what the? F- what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the whole theme of the whole story. Like, nothing makes fucking sense, man. I was laughing too because you're like. The sniper, they, that the cop is dead. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot him now, because they killed the cop. And then it's like, oh, no, the... the guy's still alive, so we won't kill him. And, but like earlier, like a fucking police car got like fucking ran into the trailer of a vehicle and got like cut in half. It's like those guys are definitely dead. Those are definitely <laughs> dead. Oh, yeah. there were so, so many, so many cops died. <laughs> like, nah, that guy's still alive. The, they didn't they, kill one cop, cop. yet. Yeah. <laughs> The they said they got sixteen million dollars in the back of their ambulance when they got away. It's like, yeah, I everyone really most who watch Ocean's Eleven is like, no, those hold maybe eight million dollars worth of those bags. Okay, sure, whatever. This 
How much money did the fucking city of LA spend on this fucking ambulance yeah. chase all together for what would have been if, you know, 16 million? Like the, the budget alone of what was spent and what was done yeah. was like seven times that. Like this is not up before. This makes no fucking sense. They're spending more money oh, yeah. than they stole. Like I don't get it. Nice fucking yeah. undercover sports cars and shit too. Mm. Like in two or three helicopters going. Two or three helicopters. How many cars squats. crashed? This fucking decked out truck that one woman was riding in with all the surveillance stuff in it. Yeah. yeah. Drone yeah. footages and all, all this stuff. It's like, yeah, they are, they are spending the more of a budget just do, doing this chase than what was actually taken. So figure your shit out, man. Like, right. Yeah. It's just, that's what was my disbelief too as well. It's like, I am not buying any of this is real because there's no way they're spending this much money on such a right. little instant scene. Yeah. So. Well, even like that expert fucking FBI guy. The, or when he's having his little divorce meeting or whatever with his mm. gay, with his husband or whatever. The husband, yeah. And the lady says, uh, people still rob banks? I'm like, yeah. I, that makes sense, too. Mm -hmm. It's like, you just fucked up the whole movie by saying that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like, exactly. It's like, people rob still, banks still? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And why was the money just sitting on a table ready to go already? Already yeah. fucking... Already right there, yeah. Pre-wrapped, ready to roll, man. Or a million right here, boys. It's like, Right here. Really? Because this is a big ass vault, and yeah, the cash is open. But do you think there'd be more? Wouldn't there be more? They, they and... said they did like mention something that there was some sort of transaction that is yeah. oh. specifically why all that money was there at that time. But... Oh, I believe you know what it was... looked like the way it was edited. It seemed like Kate, we filmed the movie. Okay, explain this, 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 and this. Okay, we only have the budget to answer <laughs> these two questions, so we're gonna go back <laughs> and we're gonna make somebody say this just mm -hmm. to. Just to keep it Saying somewhat linear now, and coherent. I wonder if I rewatch it. I wonder how much dialogue is the like, important dialogue. That important said over with people not showing their faces and just talked over, right? Because that yeah. would make sense too as well. Of like, you know, I watch this like voiceover after the fact. We did all this cool action shots and stunts. Like, yeah. Now what? It's like, oh, we got to make a movie still. Shit. Uh, yeah. we spend a lot of our budget because it's an easy fix to just have a voiceover Absolutely. over top of like a, a scenery shot or whatever right or just mm -hmm. go back and just like isolate him to just one backdrop and have mm -hmm. him like look at in a direction of whatever the character is and say something to fucking patch it up you see it a lot in like i love tony scott but in his movies and fucking michael bay and mm -hmm. lots of action movies so, oh we gotta fix this <laughs> this doesn't make sense somebody has to say something to clarify it yeah but yeah what a movie, movie. I, movie. i'll give it a props though it was not boring mm. It just That's made true, me shake I my guess. head. That was, nice. <laughs> that was true. I was watching, but it, I did. So I, I did I fall did. asleep halfway through it because I'm like, it's just too much noise. <laughs> 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 just passed out. It's I know funny we haven't talked mom... about it yet, but one thing that was really bugging me with this movie, and we did talk about it in the chat, was the amount of cuts oh, one oh, fucking yeah. scene has. Yeah, like I, that was getting me nauseous at some points. Like, okay, stop it. Like, it's just two guys talking in an ambulance we don't need a cut every half a second to go back and forth back and forth like just have one scene drawn out like why are we cutting oh. to the front of the car every time like yeah, and low yeah. angles just fucking like from the ground up like i mean for some establishing shots it's pretty mm. cool like it's a cool effect but it's like i don't know and michael bay always has the camera moving it's always moving mm. it's never stationary focused fucking whatever but yeah, I don't know. Just to keep that constant frenetic energy, I guess. But I mean, still, keep, yeah, keep the energy up high because yeah, it's just two guys talking in a vehicle while it's moving at high speeds. How's that boring? It's like, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. That was a little. Maybe little I looked by that. Maybe I read too much into it, and maybe I had too much of a headache, and I was just grumpy already. And I just mm. fucking, I don't know. But mm. definitely action packed for sure. But. I don't get why it's scored as high as it is. I really don't. <laughs> yeah. Looking at it now, that is tied with his highest uh, tomato score. That shouldn't that's be, on, yeah. that, That's tied with The Rock. That's No, it shouldn't be. The Rock should have yeah, uh, been that, that, much higher, I think. That's his highest score. 68. I think 6.1 is an okay rating because it is mm -hmm. the quality of the movie is actually like mm -hmm. legit. Like visually, it's a, it's a top-notch mm -hmm. action movie. Pain and Gain in, is in... Pain and Gain is a, good, is a flat 50. Pain and Gain. I, I enjoyed way more than this movie. I Pain really enjoyed Pain and Gain. Hilarious. I laughed a lot at that it's, one. I thought yeah. that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, 
Yeah, and what about the 13 soldiers of Benghazi or whatever? 13 hours. 51 only. Like, that's that's no, still, it can't be. Uh, it, that's what tomatoes rated. Yeah, the fan score. Oh, is probably tomatoes. High. Okay, I'm yeah. going by IMDb. Oh, IMDb, yeah. I don't, yeah, I never look at IMDb. Uh, ambulance. Because yeah. IMDb, it's got a 6.1 mm. and 55 meta score. Yeah, which, uh, but yeah, I... no, it's, it's, yeah, it's. <laughs> I Oops! Know. I disappeared there. It just me. to me is like that. That's really high for a movie that should that not be like even the first Transformers. I enjoyed more than this movie because oh, the first Transformers movie was fucking awesome, man. Mm. That's a great movie. No, so no, it's it's it, I understand it. A lot of the stuff there's lot lots of filler of cool shots of L.A. because he's an L.A. homeboy. I get it, but yeah, yeah just. It's totally literally down. twenty minutes. Twenty minutes of story, and the all of the other two hours mm-hmm. is literally just action mm-hmm. and random, random establishing man. shots of and the city, weird, like weird lines. Yeah, weird, <laughs> weird. Some would yeah, say improvised weird lines. comments throughout. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. That aren't that funny. Yeah, and people I'm told to give a shit about, but I do not give a shit about. <laughs> right. Would you guys like to hear Cameron's review of the movie? I would love I would to hear Cameron's love review. Love to hear what my good friend Cameron has to say about that. The very well versed right. critic. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Cameron because he, uh, he, he said this in a while ago. He said it a while ago when we were first supposed to. <laughs> yeah, when we were supposed to do before it. Before the, the shit hit the fan there. Yeah. Yes. But he says Michael Bayham is back, baby. Bayhem. <laughs> uh, overall, I thought Ambulance was a fun, shut your brain off, over top, over the top action movie. He says the first twenty minutes of drone footage was downright gratuitous and nauseating, but yep. managed to level out and turn into a fun chase movie. Hope to see more Michael Bay doing stuff like this and less sci-fi. And in the end, then he asks uh, our favorite uh, Michael Bay movie. He says, uh, his is The Rock. Yeah, yeah The Rock is, is definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a great review. That is a great review. I do want to yeah. see more Michael Bay movies. Because mm-hmm. when he keeps it modern mm-hmm. and like a normal setting kind of thing, like, not normal setting, but like, yeah. Because yeah. that's one of the reasons why I enjoy the first Transformer so much. He brought this concept of, you know, giant alien robots, but like brought the, the military and like brought this human. Brought a human perspective it. to it, and it was it was really enjoyable that way too. Yeah. I love to see more of that. So yeah, like him yeah. doing more. Yeah, you can do action scenes well, but like if it's mixed with a good like a good written story, like it could be a fucking like dynamite feature. Just oh yeah, just learn learn to just, like keep that fucking action boner down a bit, and like let other things flow and breathe. Like not right? so fake. Yeah, honestly, like if you guys watch Thirteen Hours, like I think that's him, like at his most like restrained. Like, okay, I'm gonna keep mm-hmm. this as realistic as I possibly can and have a good story. And and the acting was good. It was intense and it wasn't over the top, and it was just long enough. And John Krasinski was fucking awesome in it too. Like I honestly think that and The Rock even though they're two kind of different types of movies, but those two are my absolute favorite. I might even lean, oh, I might even lean towards the 13 hours or whatever. Hours of Benghazi, yeah. And Benghazi is probably my favorite Michael Bay movie, honestly. And I really love the first Transformers movie, but, but I think 13, 13 hours is, is my favorite one. And The Rock, a very close second. Mm-hmm. Armageddon's great too, but... Armageddon's a fun yeah. popcorn one, yeah. That's a... Mm-hmm. Not too. I ever watched that. I'll rewatching that a lot as a kid, and I still like Armageddon. Oh, I watched Armageddon. But, yeah, probably why it's not my favorite because mm-hmm. I've watched it so many times. Mm-hmm. That's a great movie. Yeah, but, yeah, that's you a concept of like, yeah. I mean, the more you think about it, this makes no fucking sense, but it's still fun. Yeah, as this was hoping. Oh yeah, like, this it's not be, feasible but, like, at all. But yeah, like, it was fun. Be, yeah, Ben Affleck's commentary in the, the, one of the movies was like, would it be easier like the train? astronauts that are you know going to space to just the drill because this one seems way more complicated than the other and I think just drilling a hole is a little more simple than going to space, right? And yeah. Michael Bay told him like shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michael Bay does not put up with any shit. Man. I thought that you was guys a lunatic on set apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Make yeah. Megan Fox cry like all the time. Mm-hmm. All right. Just so we can get the perfect <laughs> just perfect a total douchebag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a money man. Like, mm-hmm. We're doing it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Scott? What's your favorite Michael Bay movie? Uh, 
Yeah, pro- probably like a tie between Pain and Gain and The Rock. Yeah. The Bad Boys movies was are fun, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Too, I watched yeah. it for a bit. Those were good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the second one, you and I think I think watched it, eh? The second one? Yeah. And you said it was a little a little heavy on the action. <laughs> it was a little... <laughs> A little, little, Exhausting. little crazy, a little crazy. But I mean, like that the uh, the humor in those movies are mm-hmm. always great. Great. Oh yeah. fuck yeah, man! Well, that's Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, though, are yeah. fucking like you could just let them rattle shit off, and it's yeah. fucking mm-hmm. amazing. The whole scene where the the boys coming to pick up yeah. uh, Martin Lawrence's daughter, <laughs> that whole <laughs> segment was the best part of the whole movie. And there was like no oh, action, so- but it was fucking awesome, man. How old are you, boy? Fifteen. Fuck, boy, you look forty. Well, damn, you look. Yeah, you look damn near thirty or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> then Will Smith comes up, pretend that he's drunk, the drunk, drunk uncle. With a, yeah, drunk with a drunk gun. Uncle. He's just like fucking. <laughs> yeah, that was like that's a great scene. That's yeah, that's a fun yeah. scene. Yeah. Yeah. Never did watch a new one yet. Which I, he did not direct. So I he thought, did not. No. Nope. Yeah. Apparently, it's not bad, but. Mm. It's not the same without Michael Bay in there. Too too busy directing this one. Could be. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. His magnum opus. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) That is ambulance. Michael, what happened? What happened? What led you astray, my friend? He probably just had the the boner of boners making this movie. Just like so many, so many awesome shots. And I also. Or you fuck, who cares? uh, What's the other one that he. Six Underground, right? He did that one with Ryan oh, Reynolds. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that one. I never watched that one because I'm like, you know what? You know what? That's a good popcorn movie. That's a good popcorn movie. There were some cool fucking scenes in there, man. Like mm. with Jets and shit. That was fucking sweet. Mm. That was a good little showcase movie again, but... Yeah. Nice. Ryan Reynolds was Ryan Reynolds in it. Yeah. Like he is but, in everything, yeah. Yeah. But it was, it was still... It, it's definitely way better than Ambulance was, for sure. For me. But Yeah. There you go. All yeah. Right. What would you rate it out of ten, I guess? I think it deserves like a five point seven out of ten. I'd give it a four. Four. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's I, definitely I, passable I, as a good action movie. Oh. Because yeah. the idea is makes I'd, sense. I'd say I'd say five. Yeah. Like it's like it's like yeah, it's like it's not I didn't like, like, man, that fuck. I wasn't like that fucking sucked. It was just like, this was exhausting. Bad. <laughs> this was a yeah. waste of my goddamn time. That's what I thought. But it'd be like, this is going to be a fun conversation, though, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is the point of watching some of these bad movies. But... Yeah. Because you watch the trailer, it's like, oh, yeah. We, this is we not saw the be movie good. in the trailer. We watched, like, oh, we did. Verbatim. Yeah. The whole movie's watched, in the trailer. It's in the trailer. Yeah. We, we watch a two-hour movie instead of a two-minute trailer. Same yeah. amount of context. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Exactly. I have a, I have a pick for next uh, movie club, if you guys want. Ooh, yeah. Which one? I think, you know, the t- you know, Tis the Season. Tis the Ooh. Season. Yes. Coming and, up here uh, December, December or today, yeah. And a, and a pretty big uh, Christmas movie already dropped on Disney+. Plus. Oh, Santa Claus? Uh, no, no. I'm talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Oh, oh hey, I already watched that. Yeah, I haven't yet, but I thought that'd be a. I, I think watched we'd, it. We'd all enjoy that. When did it come out last year? On Monday? How long is it? It's an hour. Oh, just a short movie? It's just a short little movie. Yeah, it's an hour okay. long. That, that's good. Uh, yeah, oh, well, we'll save it for the review. But yeah, I, I watched yeah. it. Okay. Again. I'll watch it. Cool. Or. We could watch uh, what's it called? Spirited. Have you guys seen, have you seen the trailer? The That's one with with Will Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, Wayne, Will Wayne, Wayne Reynolds <laughs> and Will, Will Ferrell. Ferrell. Yeah, That's on it looks uh, like a Apple TV. TV. That's on Apple TV. Yeah, is that? I don't have Apple TV. Are you able to still watch it, or do you have to pay for it? You got to. I think you have to get it. I think it's a little rent it. Yeah, you might have to. Might have to. I I would think it. so because being that way, it is probably going to be a premium movie. But yeah. I yeah. doubt it'd be the free to watch if you have Apple Man still pay for it, but yeah, you get a free trial. Just gotta mm-hmm. cancel. No, um, but yeah. we can do Guardians. Yeah, like no, it's, well, or we can do both. Because Guardians, both. Guardians is a good, is a good little, is a quick little movie. I but, would like yeah. to watch Guardians. Spirited, mm-hmm. I. <laughs> yeah, I could care less. You must be. Yeah, we can, yeah. yeah, since it is December first, mm-hmm. uh, 
We could probably space them out if we do. Mm-hmm. Did you guys want? Okay, we could do Guardians next week on mm-hmm. the ninth. Yeah, that one's oh, not Sorry. a long watch. On the seventh, yeah. and mm-hmm. then we could do Spirited on the twenty-first review for. for no, the yeah, there we go. That sound yeah. good. Yeah, sure. All right, there we go. Mm-hmm. It's done. Sorted. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been a forty-minute episode. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Has it really? I figured it'd be long when we rented about, vented about this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! I was venting about it as soon as it was done. I started sending messages. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fresh in my head. My head was hurting, man. Yeah. Did it right then? I was there. like Joe Biden trying to come up with a fucking <laughs> a sentence. Right. Just, I, 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 I don't know what happened. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> where, where am I? What am I? Rank on our movie club list. Is there anything? Bottom. That, yeah. Is there anything that bottom. was worse than this? I don't think so. Bottom. No. It's a very far a, bottom. On mine, this is this is the last place. Yeah. Yeah. It tops yeah. everything I've watched so far from the movie club. Yeah. This is the last. Bar we're none. Like, we're lucky we didn't watch Covenant during uh, <laughs> Halloween time. Oh. Like I <laughs> that that one, one might have been worse, but. <laughs> I'm sure Carly would have loved that one, but. You yeah, probably. <laughs> no, she. Yeah. That's the kind of shit that she likes. So, yeah. like, yeah. but whatever. There's a genre for everybody. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, this uh, this is a long one, so let's get That's out of right. here. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Thank, and also, I just want to say thank you for sticking around. If you have, because uh, we took a, a long break, longer than I wanted it to be. So, um, mm-hmm. I know with with, with the internet. If you're not kind of putting stuff out consistently, yeah. you, you get forgotten about kind of pretty quickly. So if uh, if you're still with us, appreciate it. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. And if you're listening on a podcast service, uh, leave us a rating and uh, subscribe as well. And then head over to our Facebook page, like the page. You can submit a question because we're doing uh, Ask Us Anything on Monday's episode. So get your questions in. You can make them uh, holiday themed because we're going to do it's the only uh, ask us anything for December. So if you want to uh-huh. get some holiday themed questions in, you can do that. And submit your review for Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Is that holiday what, it, what it's called? Yeah. It's yeah, yeah, gonna, so. yeah. Holiday special. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. To get your reviews for that. And that's it. I think we'll I think we'll do another episode maybe for Friday. Sure. Try depends to. on Try depends to, yeah. on the other guy tomorrow. Yeah, how yeah, his schedule exactly. is, yeah. Yeah, yeah it goes tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But we have the capabilities too now. That's, mm-hmm. So, all right, that's it. Mm-hmm. Adios. Goodbye. See ya. See ya.